Join me today and I'll show you how to turn a couple of toothpicks, some eyelets, some paint and glue into a set of really cute little candle holders and candles for your dollhouse. Join me and see how easy this is. Today, first thing we need to talk about, we need to talk about our base, what we're going to use for our candle holder. I'm using these eyelets. These are smaller than a normal eyelet. In fact, I've got a regular fabric store eyelet on hand here to show you. They're quite a bit bigger. I don't know what size these were. I don't think they were even labeled with a size. I got these little ones at the craft store um, with the scrapbooking stuff. So you just have to look for some small eyelets for this and we're going to use toothpicks. Now, we could get two candles out of each toothpick if we wanted to, but since I'm working on camera, I'm going to um, actually use a toothpick for each one because it'll be easier for me to hold it where you can see it. And this is just a, um, a block that I used, a drying rack that I made, that I used. And someday I'll show you how to do this. It's really simple. I think you can probably figure it out by looking at it. But I will um, someday show you how to do that because I do use that a lot. Now we need to paint our candles. Whatever color you want your candle to be, that's the color paint you'll use to paint it. And I'm just using a, a Q-tip or cotton swab to paint this. I don't want to get a, t a paintbrush dirty for this. This is a, a quick, fun little project. And if you don't have a drying rack like this, just stick it into you know, whatever you've got you can stick it into. You could stick it into some styrofoam. You could stick it into, um, you know, whatever. Even in a little, a little glass or something to hold it. Just so you can hold it where or you can lay it off the side of the tape, off the side of something, so it can dry. You just need the paint to not be touching. And get this on as smooth as we can, and make sure you've painted enough for the height candle you want. And I'm going to let this dry. So I'll put these in the drying rack, and I'll be back when the paint's dry. All right, so our paint is dry. So now we have two little candles. So now our next step, I'm going to do on one of these, and this is totally optional. If you want it to look kind of like your candle is burning, take some bright orange paint. And this happens to be a neon orange. And you're going to dip just barely the tip into the paint. So you have a little orange tip. And now that will need to dry, but that will dry really quickly because it's just a drip. So now we need to get ready to glue. Let me use Fast Grab Tacky. I'm just putting a little bit here on my tile. Um, you could use regular tacky glue. Uh, Elmer's glue may even work. And to, for a little added insurance, we're going to use the cotton ball trick. So we're going to get a little bit of cotton, just a tiniest bit of cotton ready. And we need a wet wipe. Ah, there's my wet wipe. All right. So I am cutting my candle. I'm going to make my candle 12 inches. Well, the equivalent of 12 inches. So that will be a one inch piece. There. Now, I am going to just get just a little bit of this. Cut off just a tiny bit. We won't need much because this is a pretty small spot. But by using the, the little bit of cotton, get this in our glue, and wrap 
wrapping that right around the base and just make and you need to make sure that you don't get this up on any higher than that and dip in and be sure you do this step on like a ceramic tile or something like that so that it doesn't glue to your table. Now I like to put the eyelet down over the candle and push it down to the tile. By doing that I don't risk getting um, glue up onto the top of the candle holder. So let's do that again. Let's see because this one should be dry by now. So again, measure and cut. Now you could use however you normally cut things. Just don't cut them with the scissors, please. That's really dangerous. You need to cut them with something like an easy cutter or um, a um, little saw. Now roll this inlet. Get that covered in glue. Wrap it around the base. Now, see if I can do this up here. Stick this down over. Actually, I forgot to dip it in the glue again. Dip it in the glue. And just run it down like that. There. Now when the glue dries, we'll come back, we'll pop these off the tile, and I'll show you how they look. Alright, so our candlesticks are dry, so we very carefully pull them up. Now, we have a pair of really cute little candlesticks that your dolls could put on their table, or on the fireplace, or wherever you want a candle. Either lit or not. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this Trash to Treasure project. Join us again next Thursday for another Trash to Treasure Thursday.